Hello YouTube, I'm back, and as you see, I'm doing another tutorial, and obviously this one is on EasyVid, and to give you guys a heads up before I go um, into EasyVid, I was going to do DX tree, but it got too complicated, so in the next episode I'm going to see if I can do this, if not, it's either going to be Snagit or Jing. So, then the next, the last video is going to be on all the screen 3.1 Pro, and that's it, unless you guys want me to do more. So, for right now, let's put this to Dropbox it, and then let's get onto the internet, and let's, now this link will be in the description below, and once this is the home page. Now this is very, very complicated to download. I have no idea why, it's just it's like that. So see there's a download there, do not click that. Then there's another download there, don't click that. It shouldn't you shouldn't click anything on this page. And then you click more info. Um then don't mind any of these little green box downloads because they do nothing. You go to the bottom and you hit download now. It should be a little blue box with a play sign. Um, you would type in your email address and then I left that blank. And you don't even have to do any of this really. Um, it should just come up and you guys can just do save and run or save or whatever you want to, but I like doing save as and I saved it as easy bit as you guys can see and then I would click then you or if you choose to download it you would click save and then once that's downloading click run and uh, I already downloaded it so I'm not gonna do any of that so once that's loading you can just exit out and once it's finished loading you should get an icon on your screen like this if you choose to oh I already have easy bit open whoops um, so, you would get something like this, except without these letters. <laughs> I accidentally typed that. And, um, here's a problem, is you cannot delete that whatsoever. You cannot delete Easy, easy Vid's, uh, intro right there. And then... There's tons of these music here. See, listen to some of them. Okay, that's enough music. <laughs> uh, as you see, it comes with music. Oh, sorry. Um, you cannot play a video without music. I do think you can shorten it though. So if you really just want a video with no music, do Silent Machine. Because as you guys see, it just sounds like rain or something or just a fizzing thing. And that's the closest you'll get to silent. Now, some people have a problem with this. You can't, they think that you can't record your screen and your voice at the same time. So, what you would do is you would click start uh, screen capture. Don't click start capture now. You would click use advanced settings and turn on your microphone. Enable it. And then you would click start advanced capture now. Another thing about this is you can add text to your video somewhat like Camtasia and th for this video I'm actually not using Camtasia I'm using the ZDF uh, software um, screen recorder so uh, also if like the video tutorial I did before this was the ZDF software and I liked it if I like it I will use it to record the next tutorial video just to let you guys know so this is actually very similar to Camtasia. You would just type your what did I type? Oh, mom. Uh, 
just type in something and you can choose your font and then the color of your what you want your word to be and then the background color uh, let's just choose green okay and you hit finish and then it would add that to the playhead and you can shorten it or enlarge it for as long as you want and then you can create your title and then type your description choose your category all the things that youtube would give you to upload it and then your video keywords and then the music you would choose the music you want and there's voice mix here and this is record your voice to enable this you can drag the bar like say if you want to record your voice more you would just have it up here and as you can see I'm recording so I can't really change that just I don't know why I won't let me change that while I'm recording with a different software so once you're done with that you can upload it to YouTube you would click upload and then agree and then it should take you to the YouTube website and just uh, upload it or render your video if you need any help on this or the help after this just click game recording help say if I was recording Diablo, Diablo 3 you would click search and it would take you directly to Google and you'd be set and then so another thing is is you can add a watermark and then you can load a project and then you can start a new project and save that and you can zoom out for this say if your video was four minutes long and you wanted to see the whole entire video like right here you would zoom out and zoom in if you want it to be more and more and more detailed as you guys can see um, another thing is you can voice over and record your voice and it'll count that as the audio right here and then you can also synthesize your speech uh... sorry come on let me synthesize uh... my speech and then you can also add pictures or video so if you recorded two videos and you would just drag the spot or you would click on this and it would take you to your files say if i wanted to put one of my um... videos with Camtasia in here i would click that click that or no nope. whoops there's nothing in there because I needed space. See? And I would just use this. And you click that and it would add that to where this playhead is. You can also drag this playhead. Just uh, stuff like that. You can also donate to EasyVid since it is a free software uh, to keep it going so it doesn't go out of business. You can just pay to EasyVid to just keep it going and you'll get some special features. Um. Yeah, so, uh, that's it. <laughs> Before my computer dies, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a great day. Take care.